Hello everyone, welcome to Inki Gyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, where we are going to solve today one very interesting equation x cube minus 3x plus x square minus 1 square root x square minus 4 equal to 2. So I am solving using algebraic method, one of the possible algebraic method. So let's get started. From the given equation, we can easily see square root cannot be negative. So what I can conclude, x square minus 4 that should be greater than or equal to 0. This is what we can write. So from here I can write x plus 2, the difference of two squares, x minus 2, the product is positive. So once you find out the value, so we can write like this, minus 2 x plus 2 x minus 2. So when it will be positive? When x is greater than minus 2. So I will put one mark over there. x minus 2. When it will be positive? When x is greater than 2. Before that it will be negative. Now you can see the product. So once x is either it should be greater than or equal to 2. Then it is positive or x is less than minus 2. So our condition for answer we know if x lies in between minus 2 and 2 then that solution will be extraneous rejected solution. Okay, let's get started. I will consider x cube minus 3x to the right. So what I will write 2 plus x cube or 2 minus x cube it is if I will take away directly plus 3x equal to x square minus 1 times square root x square minus 4. What I did? I take away x cube minus 3x from both sides. So it will become minus x cube plus 3x. Now if you will see right hand side we are having radical square root term is there. So I will consider a square both sides. So I will do a squaring. Once I will consider squaring both sides, let us write the formula for a plus b plus c whole square. That is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Okay. Let's apply here. So I will write 4 plus x6 x power 6 plus 9x square. a square plus b square plus c square is done. Now twice ab. So minus 4 sine will be intacted. Minus 4x cube twice bc minus 6x power 4 twice ca 12x. That will be equal to right hand side. See it will be x square minus 1 whole square times x square minus 4. Okay. Now you can expand RHS first. So I will write I will write x square minus 1 whole square. Let me expand. So x power 4 plus 1 minus 2x square. First bracket done. Second bracket would be as it is. I will not touch it. Now expand this one. So this will give us x power 6 minus 4x power 4 plus x square minus 4 minus 2x power 4 plus 8x square. Simplify. So we will get x power 6 minus 4x power 4 minus 2x power 4 so minus 6x power 4 8x square plus 1x square so 9x square and minus 4 would be as it is minus 4. Now you can see the left hand side you have got, just check, x power 6 is there, 9x square is there, negative 6 x power 4 is there, which is there in the RHS also. So simply we will cancel the respective terms. So let us cancel first. Now just check what is left. In left hand side we have got 4 minus 4x cube plus 12x 
and right hand side we have got minus 4. So now it is converted into proper cubic equation. Let me write here. What is left? 4 plus 12x minus 4x cube equal to negative 4. Take all the terms to left hand side. So I will get minus 4x cube plus 12x and then plus 8 equal to 0. Let's divide with 4. So it will become minus x cube plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Multiply with minus 1. x cube minus 3x minus 2 equal to 0. This is our cubic equation. Now we are more than happy because this is one cubic polynomial. Only need to find out base solution or simply you can see the split of middle term. That is also possible. So let us use that x cube. I will split this minus 3x as minus x minus 2x. Okay. Minus 2 equal to 0. So from first two term, it is obvious that x is common. I will write x is square minus 1. From last two, I will take minus 2 common. What is left? x plus 1. Now difference of two squares. Let me write here a square minus b square. That is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So I will write x, x plus 1 x minus 1 minus 2 x plus 1 equal to 0. Let's take x plus 1 common. So what is left in bracket? It would be x times x minus 1 minus 2. So I will write x plus 1 and in bracket x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Now this is quadratic equation. From here we can write two, two equations. Either from this equation we can write either x plus 1 will be 0 or x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. So from first one, first equation x plus 1 equal to 0, we can write x is equal to negative 1. Now only we are having one quadratic equation to find out the remaining solution. So let me write x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. So let, let us apply formula minus b 1 plus minus square root b square 1 minus 4ac 8 over 2a2. 1 plus minus square root 9 over 2. So let me write 1 plus minus 3 over 2 equal to 2. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 over 2 is 2. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, negative 2 over 2, negative 1. So from this equation, quadratic equation also, we are having two solutions. x is equal to 2 and minus 1. You can see minus 1 is repetitive. So overall, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 1 are the possible solution for the given equation overall okay minus 1 having multiplicity 2 okay let's verify whether they are extraneous or not we have calculated if x is greater than 2 and x should be greater than or equal to 2 and x is less than minus 2 it should be hold true for our solution which solution we will reject minus 1 minus 1 is greater than minus 2. It is not less than minus 2. So we will reject this one. That's why we calculated this value to be real. x square minus 4 should be greater than 0. Greater than or equal to 0. From there we will calculate. We have actually calculated x greater than or equal to 2. x should be less than minus 2. So overall final solution is x is equal to 2. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.